So hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me is Numark with failed buttons. Now you can hear the click but unfortunately there is no contact and I will be showing you how to open it and uh, well how to repair it. Let's go. Okay, so first of all you have to remove all of the screws in the back and there are like 17 screws. Now some of the screws might be missing in here, but we'll cross the bridge when we get there. So I will be turning on my soldering iron and basically that is pretty much it regarding this part. Now there are a couple of connectors underneath so let me show you. You need to remove this connector and you need to remove this connector. Now uh, in order to remove it you just need to pull this black part and pull this thing off. So let me show you the idea. As you can see, this thing was inside, so you pull this thing out and then you remove the ribbon. Or otherwise you will break it and that's not very useful. Now, since in my case these two buttons are not working, these two buttons, I'll need to unscrew uh, every single screw that there is on this board. Now bear in mind that there is a little arrow in here which points to the uh, placement of the screws that go uh, on top of this PCB. You should probably put them in a separate pile and not with the ones that were on bottom. This actually looks like a ground piece and uh, you just remove it. There is no nothing to it. This thing actually has a very um, bodgy soldering, so I have to repair that. Now we will need to remove all of the uh, all of these pieces, unfortunately, and there are a lot of them, so. And basically that is it, well, at least for this part. Now what you need to do once again is pull this black part and just remove the cable. Same with this one. And now you can actually remove... Oh, there is one more screw in here. And now you can actually remove the PCB. And I will be replacing these two because they have lost their availability to work, I suppose. And unfortunately, somebody who soldered this thing before was a bit lazy, I would, I would say. So let's desolder it and uh, let's remove the switch. I actually have, I believe, the same switches as this one. You know what? In fact, let's test this switch before we just to see which one is faulty and which one is not. So it is working, but I pressed it and you need to press it a bit harder. So we'll, uh, we'll put in the new ones. So let's unsolder this. I 
and basically it is that easy. Now all you need to do is, well, not even to pull and just remove that and that is it. I will be cleaning this thing just to show you with alcohol. And this one is going in the trash. And some alcohol. And this thing already looks way better. So let's unsolder the other one as well. And again just pull this thing off and throw it into the uh, little trash can. And it is way nicer now. So I need to see about the height of the switch. As you can see these two are of the same size, so this one will actually uh, do. Now I'll need to test it just to see whether this one works, because this thing has been I believe removed from a VCR, but still good enough. So yeah, this one is working just fine. And we're replacing it instead of a Q button and soldering the uh, well the switch back. But again, this is quite easy to repair. And as you can see the new switch has been installed and I'll be installing the other one and that is pretty much it. So I've actually uh, replaced these contacts and these as well. Now as you can see I didn't have the originals but this one works so there shouldn't be any problem. So I will be assembling this thing and uh, putting it back together and testing it. Now as I said before what you need to do is put the screws back where these arrows are located. So that way you know which screws you can uh, Put in. I can, I suppose, zoom in a bit, but there is really no need. This one is actually quite easy to disassemble and reassemble. And there should be just one more, and there you have it. And all I need to do is well connect these contacts just by sliding this in and uh, pushing this thing back. So let's do that. Put it back. Now let me show you again. You push this thing in, and then you just put this black thing back, and that is pretty much it. Now. Same thing uh, in here, you push this thing in, and then I push this black thing back, and there is just one contact that goes in here, and there we have it. Well, obviously you need to put the knobs back in, but you have reassembled the uh, controller, and well, screwing everything. Now bear in mind that they're actually a um, couple of types of knobs. This one with this little marking, which is for EQ obviously, and this one which is for effects without the marking. So the ones that are for effects go up and well, this one goes in here. So, we've connected the uh, well, everything and uh, Now, the button itself is working properly, but uh, this uh, plastic has been uh, broken as well. So I need to repair that thing, but yeah. And even those that have been replaced. Now this one, I did not replace this one and I will have to replace it because I was an idiot. But yeah, all of the others that were replaced work just as fine. 
Well, for some reason this one is not uh, lit up, but uh, you can see it uh, actually is working. And uh, all of the other ones is, are working as well. So there you have it. This was a quick and easy repair, I would say. If you like this video, click thumbs up. If you do not, click thumbs down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, until the next time. Cheers.